Christopher, I have been checking out the list of events that you have scheduled for this weekend, and there are so many great things that are going to be happening along with great speakers. Absolutely, Jenna. Um, you know, we have as our keynote and as our ambassador, uh, Dr. Michael Eric Dyson. And um, uh, um, uh, Dr. Dyson is a Georgetown professor of uh, sociology. He's an MSNBC contributor and is just an amazing black public intellectual, has written numerous books, uh, has been a National Book Award winner um, uh, as well. And so we have him as our, as our keynote. We're very happy about that. We've opened that up to the public. That's, mm -hmm. that's going to take place at 6 p.m. at the San Carlos Institute on uh, tomorrow, Friday. Um, so uh, in, that, in the morning, our opening session at 10 o'clock at the San Carlos, we have uh, Dr. William Boone, who's a professor of uh, African American Studies at w Winston Salem State University of North Carolina. Mm -hmm. And then we also have State Senator uh, Dwight Bullard, who uh, represents the Keys, uh, as well as parts of Miami Dade, and his district goes all the way over to West Florida. And in the opening session, we will talk about the general theme of the conference, which is really about community wellness, and uh, broadly speaking. Mm -hmm. uh, and then um, right after that session, we will have an incredible presentation by uh, uh, Corey Malcolm from mm -hmm. the Mel Fisher uh, Maritime Museum and Jean Ten Tenney, who is the chair of the Virginia Key Beach Trust in Miami-Dade, but who has also been very involved in the, uh, the discovery and the commemoration of the African cemetery that is here in H Higgs Beach. Mm -hmm. And so, and then after that, we're, people are going to travel over to Higgs Beach, see the, 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 the memorial that is there, and have a beach day and, and hang out and, and, and enjoy the beach there. And then, uh, so that's some of our events on, on, on Friday. And then on Saturday, we have uh, uh, two wellness workshops around relationship wellness. Mm -hmm. We're a part of that workshop. It, we have a very great attorney by the name of uh, Taisha Taylor who's going to talk about elder relationships. And a lot of people my age um, are entering a zone in which we need to talk about how we're going to care for our parents as they mature and retire and things of that nature. And so a lot of times we don't really talk about that in our community until it's right there in front of your face. And so we also have uh, Dr. Eunice Peterson from the University of South Carolina Medical uh, School who is a, uh, a psychiatrist. And so we're going to talk about some of the mental things that happen during that time, that transition of our elderly as, as, as well. Um, and then we have a session that day on, on uh, physical wellness. And so we have two doctors one, I'm sorry, one doctor. One is actually a child um, dentist who focuses on, uh, uh, I think she's a ch like a child orthodontist, mm -hmm. but she's, a f she's very much involved in physical fitness. And so mm -hmm. she, she's going to speak to that. And then we also have uh, an, another young lady, uh, Mrs. Hutton, who is a physical therapist, a certified nutritionist uh, from Philadelphia who is an extraordinary uh, athlete herself, and she competes in physical fitness um, at, uh, competitions around the country. Mm -hmm. And so we have that during the day. And then at night, we're showing two documentary films, and that's open to the public. Mm -hmm. So Saturday night at 7 o'clock, we have a documentary we're showing, a PBS documentary uh, of advanced screening, actually, uh, called Beat Making Labs. And this is a group of professors from North Carolina, actually, University mm -hmm. of North Carolina, Chapel Hill, who have created a sort of beat production studio in a bag mm -hmm. with various components. And they travel around the world to artists and show them how to make, uh, uh, produce rhythms and beats with this machine. And it just documents that experience. So they've been to the Congo, to wow. Panama, mm -hmm. to uh, Colombia. And mm -hmm. so we have a collection of those, those episodes that we'll be showing. At 8 o'clock, we we're honored to, to be able to show a, a, uh, a, a documentary on Changing Seas, which is a PBS mm -hmm. award-winning PBS special, mm -hmm. I mean PBS series. And one of their episodes, upcoming episodes, we're advanced screening one that 
is do that documents what they believe to be the discovery of a very famous slave ship by the name of Guerrero mm -hmm. that was found off the, off, the, off the Florida Keys. And so we have the whole production company who will be actually at that screening and, 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 and do a Q&A with them after we, after we screen the, the movie. So we're hoping the public comes out for a little movie night, if you will, mm -hmm. from mm -hmm. about 7 till about 9 o'clock on, on, on Saturday night. So, and then we have a bunch of other you know, events as, as well, but those are the key ones. And those are the key things we want to make sure the public is aware and that they participate in if, if possible. Great. Yeah. And Christopher, what I'm so impressed by is that you're, you're the creator of this. You, you yes, thought up this idea, you wanted to make it happen, and you are making it happen. And you mentioned before, Christopher, that your goal, of course, is to bring the African-American population down to the Keys, make this a big vacation spot for them. Right. What else is a primary goal of yours? Well, you know, and there, there are not a lot of places for black thought around community issues to really be, really be digested by people. And so our goal is, on a national level, providing a place that maybe on a yearly basis, people from around the country and various profession and fields can come together and explore um, issues relating to the, the African-American community. Um, but more importantly, or just as important, we want to make sure that we thank La Concha Hotel for being our host hotel. Mm -hmm. we're, we're, we're very happy about what, how they've treated us and, 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 and how they've really accommodated us, as well as the San Carlos Institute, the Mel Fisher Museum, where we're having a private reception on Friday evening, as well as Bacardi, who is our corporate sponsor, and we're so mm -hmm. happy that we were able on a first time event to have such a, a national uh, corporation like that support us and, and, it's, and it's great that they have because you know the San Carlos Institute is a Cuban heritage site mm -hmm. of course Bacardi was started in Cuba and, uh, and so you know it all kind of aligns together mm -hmm. so mm -hmm. you know we, 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 we really hope that we have a great event we hope mm -hmm. that the people of Key West participate and we hope to be doing this on a yearly basis uh, from, from, from time eternal. Well, you definitely will be. I, I definitely know that, Christopher. <laughs> Thank you for being on this morning. I do. I look forward to attending some of these events. So. Thank you, Jenna. And everybody, please make your way out to the Key West Africana Festival, which starts today and will be lasting until Sunday. For more information, just check out the information that you've been seeing on the bottom of the screen. That's going to do it for me today. Thank you for tuning in. I hope that you'll be able to join me back here tomorrow at 7 a.m. and then again at 8.30 a.m. Take care, everyone. It'll be okay.